this device is a new generation of sensor node, which actually what it's able to do is to monitor different types of biological signals. In particular, this instance that I'm showing in the hand is actually having three electrodes, so it's done to monitor the electrocardiogram in real time. In this way, what we can actually do is have uh, an analysis of the situation of the person that can be operating while the person acts in a normal everyday life and can work for more than 150 hours without needing to recharge. This new generation of uh, embedded sensor node that we are developing at EPFL have fundamentally two main differences with any other device that is actually similar in the market. The first one is that they are wearable. This actually brings to the second main difference, which is the fact that the system is smart. So these nodes basically are able to do the analysis of the signal autonomously without any human intervention. This basically means that um, automatically the system will be able to detect any possible anomaly in the, in the heart. And in this case, we'll be able to send the necessary data to the doctor through an SMS or an email in such a way that the doctor can see what has happened. This actually helps the doctor not to waste time in unnecessary data. This new generation of devices have a large set of applications where they can be used. The first one, for example, is obvious, is for biomedical monitoring. It can be used to simplify the burden of the devices that you have to wear for monitoring patients in hospitals. The second application is, in general, for the general audience for healthy lifestyle, in such a way that we can understand better with these devices if our way of living is actually the way that we would like to for our health. Another important set of applications that have uh, recently appeared is the importance, for example, of safety in cars. These new type of devices can be used in combination with cameras and other sensing mechanisms in the car in such a way that the drivers can be monitored and we can understand if they are getting tired, there is any symptom of hunger and any time, any kind of additional type of monitoring that can affect our driving skills.